God bless you today. I hope your day so far has been amazing. If not, then guess what? Now is the time to change it. I want to tell you about how I gave my life to the Lord. But before I do, let me tell you a story. I knew this little boy. He was about four or five years old. He went to kindergarten every day, got dropped off uh, about noon, came home at 3.15, which is funny because his brother and sister came home at 3. And he used to tell his brother and sister that he was at school longer because he came home later. And they used to get so mad at him because uh, obviously they went to school at 8 a.m. And he knew that they went to school before him. He knew that they were there longer, but he loved to tell them that he was there longer because it just aggravated the snot out of his brother and sister. And they were seven and nine years older than he was. And he was never able to obviously uh, defend himself, but boy, he could aggravate him. And it just gave him a little bit of sense of control, a little sense of power. Um, and this little boy, he was playing on his kitchen set one day at downstairs in the basement and uh, nobody was around, but he knew that his dad was supposed to be getting home sometime soon. Well, dad hadn't showed up and he continued to play and eventually he heard the garage door open, which means dad is home. So he runs up to the door, waiting for his dad to open it up. His dad, he opens up the door, his, he yells, Daddy! His dad picks him up and throws him across the room. He lands, bounces off the wall, lands on the couch. It hurt, but not near as much as the rejection of being pushed away and uh, thrown out like garbage and so he was confused because he didn't know his dad this way this was the first time he had been exposed to his drunken father's rages well his mother was upstairs his brother and sister as well and they came running down the stairs and mom and dad began to fight the little boy didn't know it but his brother and sister certainly did, and he and he was being held down, and his brother and sister said, you cannot go upstairs. The little boy said, why? He said, because mom and dad are fighting, and, and he, the little boy, the insides of the little boy fell like a house of cards. It made no sense to him. How could it be that dad and mom, who love each other and love him, are, are fighting? Well, eventually something must have changed because his brother and sister let him go upstairs. He runs up the stairs right into his mother's lap, who is at a table crying, and she pushes him away as well. He understood a little bit when his mom said, I'm sorry, it hurts too much. And he stood back and looked at her, and she was crying and looked bruised and somewhat bleeding and that was the last night that he ever slept in the house with his mother and father in the same area. The next morning, bags were packed, the car was loaded, and they began on their way. Well, I share with you that story because when I ended up giving my life to Christ, he provided a stability for me that I never had growing up. I did not know what it meant to be in a house with loving parents who cared for each other. As probably you didn't either. The difference is that God will never turn his back on us. In fact, God wants us. And what really helped me to give my life to Christ is I was walking down a wooden path one day. There was a I was in the woods, walking on a path. It had rained the night before. I looked down, I saw dirt on my shoe. And then it hit me. A scripture that I had tried never to learn when I went to church. That's right, I went to church a few times as a kid. And that poor kid's teacher had her hands full with this young man because I did not want to listen. I did not want to, certainly did not want to obey her. Uh, but somewhere a scripture popped in my head that said ashes to ashes dust to dust your body goes back to the dirt from where it came and it occurred to me that my body is no different than that dirt on the ground the dirt on my shoe so how is it possible that I am able to sit here and talk to you now at the moment I was thinking how is it possible that I'm able to live and move and breathe if I'm just made of dust and another scripture popped in my head coupled with it it said and 
God took the dust of the earth and formed it into a living brain and breathed life into it. And at that moment, I knew that God had chosen me because I am dust that breathes. God has chosen you because you are dust that breathes. I want to encourage you today to be willing to give your life to God because He chose you. And that's what hit me is that God wanted me. Where my dad had rejected me because of drunkenness and thrown me across the room. Where my mother had had to push me away because she was too hurting. My father in heaven knew me intimately, created me, and wanted me. And the fact that I existed was the only proof that I needed. Because I am dust, dust that breathes. And whose, whose breath is this? If not for God's, I could not have brought myself to life any more than the dust. You look out your window and look on the ground and see can just spring up and start walking around. That doesn't happen. So I knew God wanted me. And so I gave my life to him and I said, Jesus, forgive me of my sin. I'm sorry for my sin. Help me to change from my ways. And I'm going to live my life your way because you created me. And since you've created me and heaven and earth, I can trust you and trust in your ways. And so I want you guys to be willing to search your own heart. If you've never given your life to God, do so to now because He wants you. Remember guys, I love you. God loves you. God is with you. Be blessed.